Leo. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot here to do your end of July love reading. This is a reading for Leo's Leo's Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits and leave the rest. Okay. Leo, how you guys doing? Let's take a look and see what your love messages are for the end of July. July 2022. And for those of you born at the end of July, happy birthday. Okay, stay optimistic about your love life. Okay, something is worth waiting for, and you deserve this love. Beautiful, beautiful, Leo. Okay, and you already know that, Leo. You shine like a diamond. Okay, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Divine timing is at work in your love life right now. You are lovable. You are worth this. Definitely. Okay, let's take a look and see what the, the messages are here for you. Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. So you have the Ten of Pentacles in the past. You have the Fool currently. Wow. Okay. King of Swords, position of the challenge. Six of Swords driving you. Four of Pentacles crowning you. You have the Empress coming towards you. You have the Page of Cups, position of your advice. Oh, external to you, the Ten of Swords. You have the King of Cups in your hopes and fears. Okay, and the outcome, you have the Page of Pentacles with your card, the Strength. All right, bottom of the deck, you've got the Star. Baby, you're a star. Leo, listen to me. This is you. I know it's an Aquarius card, but this is your energy. All lights, all uh, spotlight on you at the end of July here. Okay, wake up call happening here. Wow, Leo might be just you coming into yourself. Like, you know what? I am a star. I am worth something here. Look at you shining. You know, maybe you're on the cusp of Leo Virgo. Nine of Pentacles is here. This is like all in your abundance, all in your wealth, solo gains, solo pleasures. Okay, spending time with friends, maybe dating. Uh, Well-balanced energy for you here. In the past, Ten of Pentacles, okay? So this is like stability in the past. Maybe you were married or connected in a very stable marriage, but it, for some of you, it might have been loveless. <laughs> it might have just been like, you feel like you're, hmm, some of you, like it was like everything that everybody wants, all the stability, um, but there's, and there's family and everything, but it's not a very romantic card. And it, it, I don't feel like it was maybe, okay, it's stressful. Okay. A lot of anxiety. Keep the household going, doing all the work. It's just so much work with that Ten of Pentacles. Uh, maybe you worked in real estate or you're an investor or somebody was. It's just, just this energy with the Nine of Swords. Wow, okay. Loveless, Five of Pentacles. Feeling broke, lo uh, left out in the cold. Um, it's like, I feel like, Leo, like you had everything, maybe, but that wasn't, there was no love. There might have been like a loveless type of but you've got the fool presently so and the king of swords <laughs> in the position of um the challenge uh it looks like you're trying to get away from you're starting your life over in july um maybe moving away from a king of swords gemini libra aquarius um or you know trying to go towards one Okay, but with the fool, you're on some kind of adventure. Even, and travel, maybe there'll be some travel for you at the end of July. But driving you is the Six of Swords. This is like a necessary transition. I feel like you're moving, moving forward. And the Four of Pentacles crowning 100%. Like, your mindset is, like, I'm taking what's mine and I'm going. <laughs> I don't know if there's a divorce here. Um, or there's just this, somebody, it feels like, there's somebody else in your life. Um, maybe they're not shown right now. Maybe you don't see them right now. Some of you might. Some of you might be leaving a loveless connection for somebody else. Okay, going off on, you know, some type of new journey. And the Empress is showing up here in the new f near future. Why is the Empress here? Okay. Wow. It feels like, Leo, you're just doing you. This is what I, this is the energy I get. You know, you're doing you and you're really not saying anything to anybody. 
you're doing what's best for you, I feel, because you know you deserve love. You know you deserve all the abundance, okay? And um, you're optimistic about what's to come forward. So somebody's going to be helping you in the near future if you're trying to break away or if you've broken away and you're just on this new adventure seeking love or attracting love into your life, trying to meet somebody, could take care of somebody. Um, so I feel like you're going to get some... There's a female or someone showing up, maybe a mother or a friend, female friend, someone older, um, helping you. There might even be, they're, they're giving me some child support energy here as well, paying for something. Um, hmm. That could be another person doing this, like, it feels to me like you were in maybe a marriage or some type of an arrangement maybe you had children maybe not but you're breaking away from that okay and you're starting your life over and there's somebody here this king of swords is showing up okay let me just pull a card on that i want to see what this king of swords energy is here it could be an aquarius hold on i get a sneeze Okay, very sorry. Um, oh, who is this person? A teacher? Is this person a teacher, a professor, maybe a student? Let me see here. Oh, they're, this well, whoever this person is, they're waiting for your arrival. Okay, they're waiting for you. Mm. Feels like they're writing you a letter right now. Somebody's writing a letter to you, waiting for a response from you. Okay. Your advice here, if you have any apologies to make to anybody, make them. Um, pay attention to a child, a little girl, during this month, the end of this month here. Let me see. Okay. Wow. So reach out and touch someone, Leo. If you are feeling love or if there's somebody who's waiting for a response from you, your advice here is to respond. Um Somebody either that you love or someone new coming in or you have like a new brand new love start happening here. This is beautiful energy um, or an apology to tell someone that you're moving on. You've got some, there's something that ended for somebody here that's external to you. Maybe you were waiting for someone to end something. Some of you might have just left a family home. Maybe you've been single and you weren't married. You left a family home and you're, you know, going off on your life, starting your life over this Ten of Swords. Somebody feels betrayed. Yeah. Um, maybe family betrayal or um, there's something ending or someone surrendering to the marriage. Maybe you were married. And, yeah, that energy is playing out here. Okay. Um endings endings there's also a king of cups okay so this could be somebody you're wishing for this king of swords might be somebody you're leaving as well but there's a king of cups it looks like in your hopes and wishes yeah temperance okay i feel like you want to come into harmony with someone a king of cups cancer scorpio pisces that might be somebody you're wishing or it may not be the actual sign for some of you i do get an energy of like Whoever they are, they show up in the water element where they bring peace and support and love and understanding and um, really care about you, even though there might be some drama or conflict connected to that person in some way, or you don't want to bring any drama, you want everything to be peaceful. Um, if you're, you know, removing yourself from a relationship and, um, or if you have already and now you're starting out you have somebody though i feel like you're i feel like you are um you've got someone from whom, whomever you may have been involved with in the past not wanting to let you go okay um they don't want to let you go but you have your your eyes your sight set on somebody else and the outcome is a page of pentacles with the strength card oh and the two of cups yeah so feels like there's somebody you and another person are coming into union absolutely you and another person are coming into union here at the end of july um there's like an maybe an actual meeting maybe you haven't met this person 
Um, maybe you talk to them, they're far away, um, or some type of communication with them, but you haven't actually met them. And it, it just feels to me like you're going to be at the end of July. You know, uh, this is a worth waiting for energy. Okay. Um, some of you, you might have had somebody that you're walking away from that you wish that things could just be peaceful and there's balance and harmony and no drama and no conflict. Okay. Um, so that, because I don't feel like you want to hurt somebody, but I, I feel like maybe there's an apology if you're walking away from a relationship um, or if somebody walked away from you and then you decided, you know, you're just going to free yourself from waiting anymore and move forward. They, they may feel betrayed, but I mean, that's just doesn't make any sense. Um, but you, so you may be saying to someone, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not pursuing a romantic relationship with you anymore. Um, I'm seeking new love. Okay, so uh, there is new love coming here, Leo. So hey, happy birthday to you. Um, yeah, it looks good. Okay, I'm gonna follow up your next reading in August. So I wish you a very happy birthday after July. And I'll see you guys in August. All right, take care. <music>